Hey guys, today I will be showing you how you can maximize the amount of usable dynamic range recorded in camera. One of the main factors which makes footage from a cinema camera look so good is the relatively high dynamic range recorded. We can't increase the dynamic range of our camera since this is limited by the sensor and other internal components, but we can optimize the in-camera settings to maximize the amount of dynamic range. So the main quantity we will be trying to optimize is the signal to noise ratio, which as the name suggests is simply the ratio between the good signal and the noise produced by the camera sensor. This picture shows two frames with the same exposure with a low signal to noise ratio on the left and a high signal to noise ratio on the right. Clearly a high signal to noise ratio looks far better, which is what we are trying to achieve. Before we get into the in-camera settings, we need to know exactly how much dynamic range our camera can record. The easiest way to do this is by checking online with websites such as DxOMark. Now for the in-camera settings. We will start by selecting a picture profile which records slightly more dynamic range than our camera can detect. For Sony cameras, here are some picture profiles with their approximate dynamic range. For most Sony mirrorless cameras which have around 14 stops of dynamic range, S-Log2 is a good choice. So far this stuff about picture profiles has been Sony specific, but you can follow the same procedure with any camera. Different brands will have their equivalent picture profiles. From this point onwards, I'll be assuming you're shooting with a log profile, as log picture profiles can all be exposed in a similar way. Now for setting exposure, we will expose to the right as much as possible without clipping. To maximize the signal to noise ratio, I have already made a video on this exposure technique which I have linked in the description below, but the basic idea is to find the point where your particular log profile clips and then set the zebras to that point and set your exposure just below the point where the zebras begin to show on screen. Make sure that your camera is set to the native ISO, shooting at higher ISOs will decrease dynamic range. That's all you need to do. Hopefully this video has come in useful in helping you understand how you can set up your camera to capture as much dynamic range as possible. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.